While I was in New York, I just couldn't pass up the opportunity to visit my dear friend Elizabeth Lear, and she gave me a tour of a beautiful garden labyrinth that she designed for meditation. Alan, now we're entering the labyrinth, which is... Um, oh, I see it, yes. Mm -hmm. We use Belgian block, which was left over from the old driveway. Of course, you could use many materials. Um, and it's set in the lawn so that it kind of disappears. Do you want to try walking let's, it? Let's walk it. Yeah, so you, st you step on the stone. On the stones. And this was a request of the client. Yeah, she, the inspiration um, were from labyrinths that she saw in Scotland and Chartres and she wanted to repeat it in her yard um, for meditation and just, you know, kind of as a folly. It's beautiful, and it's the, the Belgian block are deep enough that you just mow right over it. Uh-huh, that's we set the grades with the transit. And you just continue to follow this and get into a meditative state. Mm-hmm. And that takes us eventually. How far do you want to go before <laughs> I tip over? Before you fall into a deep meditation. <laughs> and then in the center, we have um, the, the poetry pot by Bob Dash. Uh, yeah. It's beautiful. Yeah. It was, what a nice focal point. It's a nice centerpiece. I like urns in the lawn, statuary in the lawn. Yes, yeah, it's just it's one cool. element there in that mm -hmm. space. Elizabeth, thank you so much for this tour. It's oh, so, you're been so, so inspiring. <laughs> thank keep, you for coming to visit. Keep up the great work. Thank you.